I would climb trees and jump off of garages and you know, you know, climb out my window and, and walk around on the roof and figure out how, how I can jump off the roof. I mean, just do some crazy stuff. But the craziness I, that I did didn't just come out of nowhere. I would think about it. I would, I would ask myself, what would it feel like to jump off the roof of this garage? What would it feel like? I wonder what, you know, people ask, well, why did you go to the top of that hill with that big wheel and roll all the way down out into the street? I used to think about it. What would it be like to, to, to y'all not say nothing to me. You can tell what people are thinking about by two things. By what they do and what they talk about. Now let me go a little bit further. You remember I was telling you about uh, a preacher, uh, perhaps he, maybe you don't remember, but there's this preacher down in Georgia. I think um, he got into trouble with the law. Uh, but down in Georgia, and every sermon he preached, he had something dealing with sex in it. Every sermon he preached, there was something that he would say dealing with sex. Whether it might have been some kind of joke or some kind of comment or whatever, whatever, whatever. You know, but it was always, it, did I say every sermon? Every sermon he preached. And it just so happened that a few years later, um, you know, he, he got caught soliciting a police officer, you know, thinking that she was a prostitute, da 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 da. All right. But obviously, something was on his mind. There's a preacher right now in Detroit. Every time, and this is guaranteed, every time you hear him preach, it doesn't matter what setting it is, every time you hear him preach, he's going to say something about homosexuals and lesbians. Something. Never, you know, he, he might be preaching about love in the church and how much you love one another, but he's going to say something about gays and bull daddies. That's telling me something is on his mind. You got, there's a person right now, God help me, I hope I don't get myself in trouble. There's a person right now, there was a time when my wife and I, when we would talk with this, this girl, she always brought up her ex fiance did I say all of it? Always. It doesn't matter what we were talking about. Some kind of way we got on the next thing. What is that telling me? That he was on her mind. Whether she mad at him, whether she wanted him back, whether she was still in love with him, I'm not saying all that. All I'm saying is she was thinking about it. Why? Because she was talking about it. So let, 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 let's, let's bring that to us now. What do you talk about? I'm talking about you. I ain't talking about your neighbor right now. I'm talking about you. What do you talk about? What kind of stuff are you doing? You know, my brother-in-law, my brother-in-law, brother thank God my brother-in-law is here. He's been sick in the hospital and he's here. On the day, Minister Harris. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you. My, 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 I can tell you what, what was on my brother-in-law's mind. Because he talked about it all the time. He got junk on his mind. Killing deer, you know, kill a muskrat. 
gonna kill something in you, and when we kill them, we gonna eat them. I wish y'all talked to me. Why? Because that's what he talks about. Y'all, y'all can tell what's on my mind. You know, you can tell what you can tell what's on first lady's mind. You, you can tell what's on each other's mind. You can tell what's on your mind. What do you talk about? Proverbs chapter twenty-three, verse seven. Chapter twenty-three, verse seven. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. I know the reference. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. What you think about is important. How you see yourself is in, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Let me share something with you. Let me share something with you. This may bless you, this may not. But it is the truth in the heart. You may reject it, you may not. But it's the truth in the heart. Sometimes when we're judging others, we project our own selves onto them. Sometimes when we judge each other's intentions, we're really judging our own. Y'all say it. Amen. In, 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 in other words, many times, because you're not in someone else's heart, you look at a situation and you start thinking what you would do if you were in their situation and you judge them based upon what you Why? Because that's the way you think. See, see, that's not the, that's not the way I, girl, if I was you, I would have went upside his head. Well, see, you are not me, because that's not the way I, that's not the way I think. As you think in your heart, that's the way you are. Not necessarily the way I am. So, if I want to change what I am, I'm going to have to do something up here. If I, if, if, if I want to change what and who I am, I need to change how I think. If I see myself as a hamburger flipper, and thank God the hamburger flipper because you know I can't get my Wendy's number two biggie size with the Sprite without hamburger. Y'all man, thank God. Come on, thank, let's thank God for for French fry fryers, right? Because without them, I wouldn't get my large fries. I ain't looking down on nobody. Thank God for them. Thank God for the people that work in Kentucky Fried Chicken. Because every now and then I get a taste for original three piece with mac and cheese and coleslaw. Y'all not saying nothing. Am I right about it? But if that's the way you see yourself, you are never. You got to see yourself doing something else. Yeah. I got to change what I think. Yes, if I want to go to another place in my life, I got to go to another place in my mind. Am I right about it? Yes. And so, and so, and so, what you think about it, it is very important. So let's look at let's look at the word of God. And I'm going to give you the background of Romans next time. But let's look at the word of God. The Bible says, what in, in the fifth verse? They that are. Oh, I'm 
sorry. Y'all lost Romans? You lost it? Go find it. What is it? What is it? What is it? They got to have the flesh? No, 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 no. Watch this, watch this, watch this. That, that, that's King James speak. When the Bible says the word flesh, it's really talking about the sinful nature that you have inside of you. That part of you that want to sin, that part of you that want to rebel against God, that part of you that want to do whatever God doesn't want you to do. All right, that's what that's talking about. So, so when you read in King James Version, after the flesh, it's talking about people who are following their sinful desires. And it's not just the people who are out there in the world, but it's the people who are in the church. People who are following their sinful desires, guess what? That's what they're thinking about. What he's saying is that you can't separate what you think about from what you do. If I do evil things, that means I've been thinking about evil things before. If I do bad stuff, I've been thinking about it. Lord have mercy. That's, that's why Jesus took it a step further. Jesus said, Jesus said, Jesus said, uh, 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 you've heard that thou shalt not commit adultery. But if a man look on a woman and look after her, what? Well, he committed adultery. Really, what he's saying is he thought about doing it. I love when I preach like this because you know it, 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 it's really it's really it is talking where we are. I, I have to think about it before I do it. As a matter of fact, I and mean, in God's eyes it's already done because he's thought about it. Amen. And now all it's up to is, is the plan. When David saw Bathsheba, he committed adultery with her in his mind. Then he put the plan together. He saw the woman washing herself and said, hey! He got in his mind, and it was a done deal. Call his servant, hey, go get up, tell him to come here. I wish somebody would say something to me. Amen. The next time you do something, don't, 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 don't say it slipped up on you. It had to hit your mind first. I had to think about it first. And when I thought about it, it sounded real good to me. Then I did. So they got out after the flesh. They that live by their sinful desires. Everybody is people who do sinful things. They think about sinful things. Now go further, go further. I gotta wrap this up. Go further. What is it? But they that do spiritual things. They think about the things. Of the spirit, everybody say things. things. Uh, it matters what you think about. You got to think about the right things. Everybody say the right things. Right. You know, and, and, and I'm gonna talk a little bit more about sort of about things. But but you, 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 if, if you want to do right, you got to think about right. People who think about it's hard doing right, but you got to think about right before you can do right. You know, it's hard doing right when you think about wrong. You know, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, thank you, Holy Ghost. The next time that the, the, uh, you say to yourself, man, it's hard doing the right thing. What 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 the mind for you is, if it's, if it's hard doing the right thing, then that means you ain't thinking about the right thing. Woo. If you think about the right thing, it won't be hard to do the right thing. Man, I'm preaching right now. It, 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 it becomes, because I, I, I hear the Lord saying, I hear the Lord saying that, 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 that his commandments are not grievous. The way of a transgressor is hard. But, but, but the, what, 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 what God does, he gives you power to do the right thing. In, in the first chapter of, of, of St. John, and, and, and right around 12, 13, 14 verse, he said, and to them that received him, he gave power to become the sons of God. It, 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 all I got to do is just think about doing the right. God will help me to do the right thing, but he, he, he's not going to tell me what to think about. I, 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 I got to think about the right thing. I, I, I got to think about good things. I got to see myself. Anybody in here see yourself doing the right thing? 
Anybody see yourself loving your neighbor as yourself? Can anybody see yourself forgiving your enemy? Uh, uh, can, can anybody see? God, help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, you got to be able to see yourself. You got to be able to think about how you're going to do right. I'm going to do right. Matter of fact, uh, here I am. Uh, I, I, got to, I got this person who's doing me wrong. And, and, and I know God wants me, to, God want me to, 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 to show him love. And so I got to think about how I'm going to show him love. But, 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 but when you think about how you're going to get back with them, it's going to be hard to show them love. When you think about how, how, how you're going to take revenge on them. When you think about how you're going to get retribution. When you think about how you're going to get them back for what they did to you. Oh, I'm talking right now. When you think about how you're going to get satisfied about how they treated you. So, and so you think it away. Come on, don't act like you, you don't do this. You think away of how you can get back at her. See the way she did me? Okay. And when you go home, you start thinking, okay, I don't know. Okay. Next time I go to church, and when I see her, yeah, okay, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to do this. Y'all ain't going to help me. I, I, I know you do. Uh, but you, you, got, you got to see yourself. You got to think, okay, she did me wrong, but the next I see her. I'm seeing myself walking up to her and telling her how much I love her. I see myself. I see myself. Look, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, can you see yourself next Sunday doing the right thing? Uh, as a matter of fact, let, 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 let's bring it a little bit closer to the future. Say, neighbor, can you see yourself on tomorrow?
Because Sister Matthews, sometimes you just gotta take the word of God with no evidence whatsoever. Yeah. Help me say no evidence whatsoever. No evidence. What? Because that's what God did. Yeah. God took His word with no evidence whatsoever and framed the world with nothing but the voice of his mouth. And the same God that created the world made me. Same one. And Sister Matthews, you know what he said about you? He says, you are fearful and wonderfully made. My wife was having one. 